So, uh, be some basic concept of thermodynamics. First, we saw the first some basic concepts in thermodynamics and go with the advanced concepts. Okay, um, first, what is thermodynamics? It describes the macro macroscopic properties of your equilibrium system. Okay, um, what is the temperature? What is the pressure? Okay, how much it uh, change pressure? Uh, how the reaction goes when you heat a reaction or when you pressure some reaction go with the temperature some reaction go with pressure some reaction uh, only undergoing low temperature like that so you need thermodynamics to understand better understand the chemistry even organic chemistry also so you should uh, learn some basic concept in thermodynamics to understand better understand the organic chemistry also okay so the uh, the four main laws of thermodynamics are these zero first second and third okay so we see briefly on uh, uh, subsequent slides okay so first uh, what what tells about zero law it defines the temperature what is temp temperature it defines the temperature is zero law uh, first law defines energy what is energy you internal energy it is defined by the first law okay the second law defines entropy what is entropy okay and the third law defines gives the numerical value to the entropy okay and the most important is these are universally valid they cannot be supported okay so uh, many articles or many papers are published even the uh, highest uh, uh, impact factor journals also uh, violating uh, we found a machine which violate the thermodynamics and like that so they all proved to be false okay so these laws cannot be uh, make false okay so if it is false means you make some mistakes or you did some wrong calculations or you uh, missed some calculation okay so so these laws cannot be circumvented okay okay so uh, you should know this simple basic concept okay what is the system what is surrounding what is boundary okay the system is the part of the universe we choose to study what uh, example for example if you take a cup of tea the tea is the system okay so the temperature if you measure the temperature of the tea okay so the tea is the temperature the surrounding is the rest of the universe okay the whole universe is the surrounding okay the boundary is the cup okay the cup is the boundary it separates the system from the surrounding okay that is the boundary okay you should um for a simple system like that you you can e easily tell which is, which is system which is surrounding which is boundary for, for complicated system you cannot uh, distinguish these simple things also you cannot distinguish which is system which is surrounding you cannot simply um, now in the if you, you take a example of the, the chemical reactions inside your body which is system which is surrounding which is uh, boundary okay or is chemical reaction there is a boundary okay and the reaction inside the blood or in the enzymatic reaction like that for um, going like biological in the complicated system you the defining this is uh, requirement or the thermodynamics is also in, uh, in inside our body okay not only outside so you, you should know which is this okay so uh, differentiating this is not easy task okay and the system open system closed system and isolated system um you know open system is uh, is open to matter and energy okay so energy and matter are we are also open system okay so the energy uh, go out and uh, when you inhale and exhale the air uh, go in and out of our body the energy also exchanging okay so through the skin uh, temperature going up and down like that so closed system means matter cannot exchange okay so if you closed cup of tea is the closed system so okay so energy can uh, eliminate okay so the cup uh, may cool down uh, for uh, if you take uh, if you uh, like that if you uh, stay and like that it cool down simultaneously okay so it is a closed system isolated system is uh, energy also can, cannot exit okay so thermoflask is an isolated system okay so uh, so it is not an ideal isolated system but it is somewhat isolated okay so for uh, for a um, reasonable amount of time okay it uh, it keep the temperature of the tea okay so that is isolated system okay mm. so uh, for uh, describing system what are the 
properties we know okay so if you interview ask to introduce yourself you say your name your college like that so uh, like that if you study a system you should know the properties of the system uh, what state it this this system is in uh, what is the pressure what is the temperature volume moles mass uh, knowledge if the system is homogeneous or heterogeneous uh, mean homogeneous mean it is single phase okay heterogeneous means more than uh, single phase okay knowledge if system is in equilibrium or not okay um, so it is about chemistry okay so all reactions are tend to become equilibrium or in the lower state okay so uh, you, you should know the system is equilibrium or not knowledge of the number of components uh, if you take a cup of tea what are the number of components it's not a simple uh, task okay so you easily tell that it, it contains water or um, milk and uh, tea like that sugar uh, but it also contains lots of uh, minerals like that okay so um you you take into the account the all number of components for you better accuracy okay so knowledge of number of components is also important okay uh what is defined as number of amount of substance uh, for it is number of moles okay so most of them know but uh, they uh, some of them are making mistakes okay so that's why i take this uh, mole is uh, number of carbon atom exactly in 12 gram of carbon atom okay so if you take a 12 gram of carbon atom and uh, imagine you you count uh, what number of carbon atoms it is 6 into 10 power 23 mole per mole okay uh, this is the uh, outer constant okay so number of entities per mole is called outer constant okay so you you take any number any substance okay not carbon you take one mole of nitrogen one mole of hydrogen and count the number of uh, entities it, it is our constant okay uh, it is uh, so it is a constant with unit not a pure number okay so some sometimes you missed the mole okay so in physical chemistry you solve the problem the all units are important okay you should put all the units and uh, the units are like uh, alga, um, um, mathematic uh, okay so you should multiply or divide okay like that and what is molar mass what is uh, different from the mass and molar mass molar mass is the uh, mass of mo mole of a substance if you take a one mole of carbon and uh, what is the mass of that uh, is that is molar mass if a, uh, molar mass of carbon is 12 gram per mole okay so if the unit is gram per mole okay it different from the mass okay mass is in kg or like that in gram like that uh, the molar mass is uh, mass of one mole of substance is molar mass okay uh, moles is uh, mass of substance divided by molar mass okay so if you, uh, carbon is 12 gram gram per mole is the molar mass if you take a 12 gram of carbon means uh, uh, 12 gram divided by 12 gram per mole means 12 gram 12 gram cancel the mole per mole goes to mole okay one mole okay so it is if you have 24 gram of carbon if you have a 24 gram of carbon means it is two moles okay just to 24 gram divided by 12 gram per mole divide uh, these two you get the two moles okay this is moles okay so uh, the other concept is really re relative molar molecular mass or atoms or molecules okay so these are uh, this is only uh, present in the periodic table okay so most of them know but uh, some of them make mistakes okay so these are relative relative molecular mass not uh, exact mass okay so we we easily say it atomic weights or molecular weights these are not weights okay because weight is a gravitational force uh, on an object okay so these are not it is dimensionless quantity all reduced uh, are, are, are relative quantities are uh, dimensionless okay because uh, we divide the mass divided by the um, atomic mass constant uh, because the if you take a uh, one kg of substance in this the unit is kg okay the atomic mass constant uh, is uh, 1.66 into 10 power minus 27 kg okay so you divide these two units it is a uh, unitless constant okay uh, you say the atomic weight of carbon uh, hydrogen is 1.00 okay so it is a relative mass okay so it is not a one okay so it is not a one kg or one gram like that it is one means it is divided by the atomic mass constant okay one one 1.6 into 10 power minus 27 kg okay uh, hydrogen uh, contains only proton one proton and one hydrogen only electron okay so you, you uh, add the mass of a proton and mass of the electron and divided by the atomic mass constant you get the one okay so this is okay if you uh, atomic weight of carbon is 12 means 
uh, uh, the constitution is sum of all the uh, mass of proton, all the mass of electron, all the mass of neutron, and divided by the atomic mass constant, you get the at 12 okay so that is the atomic ma mass constant the you see in the periodic table the atomic mass or atomic weight are uh, not uh, atomic weights they are atomic mass and uh, they are relative molecular mass actually okay so you should know the difference okay and uh, two class of properties intensive properties and the extensive properties uh, a, a, a extensive means it is um, it depends on the size of the system okay so uh, if you one mole of carbon you, you can, if you one mole of carbon is 12 gram if you take two mole of carbon it is 24 gram okay so if you, uh, it is uh, if you increase the size of the system um, the property uh, depends okay it, it, it depends on the size okay if you take intensive properties it does not depend on the independent of the size of the system like uh, temperature if you mm, if you some interviewer ask this question for one liter of uh, boiling water is 100 degrees celsius what is the temperature of 100 uh, 10 liter uh, boiling water same okay so it is does not depend on say it is uh, one liter or 100 liter like that yeah. how much liter it, it does not depends on the size okay so the temperature and the pressure and the molar quantities okay more uh molar quantity is nothing but divided by moles okay so if you divide by the moles it is become molar quantity and it is independent of the size okay so uh example if you want uh, take one moles okay so uh one mole of carbon or uh, like that uh, divided by moles means uh, it is uh 12 gram per mole okay so per mole means uh it is uh, does not depend on because in one mole of substance uh, definite quantities numbers are there so so that it does not depends on the size okay so the all molar quantities are independent of the size and intensity so you should know the in extensive and intensive property okay difference between and um, uh, so for started state uh, if you stay uh, define a state you need number of variables okay so p n t and v okay so if you state means it independent of the history of the system okay so it is um, uh, how it come from like that so they don't need the kind of history of the system if you know the variables state variables you can define the system okay for a one component system you take for a one component system uh, then n and two variables enough to uh, uh, define the two states okay uh, so notations uh, so you, you should know okay so gas the bar temperature okay state of a system uh, is usually the state of a system is defined like this okay so initial state and final state uh, it goes like this uh, uh, initially 5 bar to 1 bar and 100 degrees celsius to uh, 50 degrees celsius okay so this is the path okay so this is the path it go undergoes from state 1 to state 2 okay and process uh, so there are uh, many paths okay so the the path is from, uh, very important and the state is very important okay so uh, the the questions each word is important uh, it, it undergoes reversible path or irreversible adiabatic isobaric isothermal uh, uh, each test each each word is important okay so then only you should uh, properly understand the concept and properly use the formula and uh, get the answer otherwise you you can easily make mistakes okay uh, in thermodynamics uh, okay so easy concept and easy make mistakes okay so hard concept are hard to make mistakes okay? and uh, these concepts are very simple and easy to make mistakes so don't uh, confuse with the concept uh, so so clearly know the concept okay reversible means always in equilibrium mean it uh, mm, if you uh, if you take a, uh, a container with air okay so if you take release the air pressure very slowly very slowly means it uh, every time it equilibrium with the surrounding okay so the pressure is equilibrium with the external pressure okay external pressure so it is the reversible path irreversible means if you suddenly pull the piston from uh, pull the piston from the box okay so the pressure is suddenly increases okay so it is irreversible means it you cannot uh, if you uh, 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 push the piston uh, return back the system not in the same state as the airless okay in the reverse of what you you pull the uh, piston very slowly okay so if you push uh, pull and push uh, you can take reversible okay so uh, irreversible defines time okay so means you cannot uh, go back in time like that 
irreversible means you cannot go back to the original state irreversible means you can always go back to the reverse uh, original state like that okay adiabatic means simple uh, you, you should know adiabatic means no heat transfer what is heat heat what is, heat is the form of energy transferred between the system okay if you at a system is in hot or other system is cold the heat is the heat is the energy okay the temperature is different from heat heat is different from energy okay heat is the form of energy okay uh, same heat and energy are same heat is the form of energy okay and the temperature is different temperature is the um, it is measuring how much is hot how much it uh, cold and okay so temperature is the average kinetic energy of the system okay it, uh, it, it different from the uh, heat where heat is the energy okay transfer of the energy from one system to another another system adiabatic means there is no heat transfer the heat transfer is uh, blocked okay so that is the in like in the thermal the flask flask the heat transfer from the flask t2 uh, to the surrounding is blocked okay so that is the adiabatic system okay okay uh, but actually somewhat heat is transferred and uh, suddenly it cools okay so in any long time okay so isobaric means const, uh, constant pressure isothermal means constant temperature i um, constant volume means isochloric okay so it's it should know for familiar with the term isobaric isothermal and isochloric okay isochloric isochloric means constant volume okay okay um sun okay uh, thermal equilibrium if you take a system a is hot and b is cold okay so if you uh, contact with uh, a and b uh, the hot, the temperature heat flow heat is the form of energy okay so this is a form of energy the energy goes from a to b and uh, the both will be warm okay so um, it is the equilibrium it is attained to the equilibrium state okay so so all system tend to become equilibrium okay uh, that is the nature okay so all system tend to become equilibrium that is the more stable state okay that is highly unstable one is hot one is cold okay so if you uh, uh, if you contact these two objects the temperature uh, flows uh, these two then these two temperatures are same okay a and b are the same temperature okay now here the a is uh, higher temperature than uh, b okay so temperature is same um, relative quantity if you say some something is hot means uh, you you uh, relate with something cold okay so uh, it depends okay so yeah ice is uh, hot okay when uh, below the uh, uh, zero degree uh, means zero degree celsius okay ice is hotter than okay so like that if you uh, wh what did you define that is hot or cold it is it is relative okay so it is a relative property temperature okay okay uh, so this is the zeroth law okay what is zeroth law um, so if you take uh, a and b in thermal equilibrium and b and c are thermal equilibrium means a and c are also in thermal equilibrium like that if you um, if you take uh, one system it is equilibrium with another b if, uh, equilibrium with another c okay a b c okay uh, like that if you uh, contact with okay so thermal equilibrium means like that the previous example like that if you contact this uh, it is if you these two three are in the same temperature okay because these three are in thermal equilibrium that is the zero law okay it defines the temperature okay what is temperature uh, it is useful to uh, uh, invent the thermo uh, thermometer okay the thermometer in the b is act like a thermometer okay this is the per thermometer uh a is equilibrium uh, the thermometer equilibrium with the uh, mercury okay the inside the mercury uh, equilibrium that uh, temperature is equilibrium with the mercury and the atmosphere okay so if you uh, the system you if you uh, measure the temperature of a, a reaction uh, the the uh, or a temperature of a coffee okay like that is temperature of a boiling water uh, this is the system this is mercury the, the these three are in thermal equilibrium so that you can measure the temperature of different system okay um for if you if you take see maybe anything okay it, this may be tea or coffee or boiling water like that so this is uh these are these two are thermal equilibrium okay and these two are if you contact uh, the thermometer with the coffee and uh, uh, tea and uh, um, water hot water you know the temperature of these three by knowing the uh, length of the thermometer okay they using the uh, 
Uh, what is the principle of if you some interviewer ask what is the principle of a thermometer the answer is uh, zero thala so it, it follows the zero thala okay so the three systems are in thermal equilibrium so that we can measure the temperature of any system okay so you should understand mm, operational definition of temperature okay so uh, okay what are the needs okay you, you need a substance and the property that depends on the temperature and reference point okay you always need a reference point to measure okay so if you measure something you need measure uh, some measuring instrument okay you, you need scale to measure the length okay so without the scale you cannot measure the um, uh, uh who tell you the scale length is 15 centimeter or 30 centimeter or one meter we we um we first uh, define some reference point mm -hmm. and uh, we should take these reference for uh, measuring all lengths okay so there is no length like that like that so you you need a reference point and a interpol uh, interpolation scheme between the reference point okay okay so if you ideal gas okay you take the ideal gas uh, the Boyle's law, okay. The Boyle's law is simple. PV is equal to constant is, is, is the Boyle's law, okay. Uh, at constant uh, N and temperature, okay. This is the Boyle's law, Boyle's law okay. So, the um, uh, these are ideal gas laws, okay. So, uh, ideal gas laws means um, uh, what is the difference between ideal gas and the real gas is. And the ideal gas is pressure is zero, okay. So, means and there is no interaction between any molecules in the ideal system. But in the real system, there is interaction, okay? So ideal systems are like hard sphere, okay? Hard sphere. So they cannot interact like that. Uh, but a uh, real system, they are atoms or they have nucleus, electrons, they have attraction, repulsion, like that. Many interactions, water walls interaction, like that. So many interactions are there. So the real system are not ideal. But the gases are uh, very much like ideal, okay? So the gases are like very much like hard spheres. So uh, very much uh, similar to the... Um, uh, ideal behavior when the pressure is very low okay so when uh, how much you pressure you low the very very how much you, the limit means you cannot attain this but you can go as much you can okay you cannot attain the pressure of zero okay so but you can go as much as uh, zero okay so like that you cannot attain the zero kelvin temperature but you can go as like um, as close as, as 0 0.000 kelvin are uh, attained okay 0 0.001 like that but you cannot attain the zero Kelvin temperature, okay? Okay, so think about it, why you cannot attain the zero degree Kelvin temperature, okay? Um, okay, the uh, the properties is the constant, okay? The, the constant is, depends on the, you, you say the, you should know, PV is equal to constant means only when the N and T are constant, okay? So, uh, means that the function is depends on the temperature, okay? So, we, the substance is the gas, the function that depends on the, is this, um, Gas is the function. Okay, the uh, the, the two reference pointers. First, the reference two reference pointer boiling point and freezing point of water. Okay, um, water freezes zero degree Celsius and boiled hundred degree Celsius. So then the interpolation is a line. Okay, so take a line. Okay, this is the uh, freezing point. This is the boiling point, and you take the straight line. Okay, so straight line interpolation. So you got the minus two seventy three point one five degrees Celsius. Okay, this is the zero Kelvin. Okay. Uh, this is the zero Kelvin means this is zero degree Celsius. This is zero Kelvin. Okay, using that. So, uh, so very simple. Okay, so take the temperature of water and the temperature of uh, water in zero degree Celsius and uh, hundred degree Celsius. You you plotted in the graph and uh, uh, um, extrapolate the line. Okay, to uh, how how you uh, how, where it crossed the it cross okay where it cross the x axis is the minus 273.15 this is the zero degrees absolute zero okay so okay this is the absolute zero okay for different difference between the kelvin and celsius okay just to add to 273.15 okay so uh, most of the problem they give the questions in degree celsius but you should convert to kelvin okay so because uh, uh, convenient to in all calculations also you should uh, don't forget to uh, convert the celsius to kelvin okay otherwise you uh, there are mistakes many mistakes come okay 
uh, now the better reference points now used are first they used the freezing and boiling point of water now they use the triple point of water triple point of water is something the uh, the three phase of water simultaneously exist that, uh, that is the triple point okay like um, um, uh, gas water and the ice the three phases of three three phases are uh, in a single point that is the triple point so under zero degree kelvin you take this and uh, uh, draw a straight line this is the kelvin uh, scale okay okay for ideal gas the pressure should go to zero okay uh, pv is equal to pv bar is equal to rt okay the uh, how uh, pv is equal to constant okay so something uh, is there okay so something uh, it depends on the temperature okay so what temperature this is the temperature is uh, this constant is how uh, how the r the or, uh, gas constant is how come from this is okay so if you uh, plot plot the plot the graph uh, with the p tends to zero and uh, varying the fr pressure and volume you get the different uh, values for this and you divide uh, divided by the uh, 273.16 you get the uh, gas constant okay uh, this is how they calculate the gas constant okay uh, simply the formula okay uh, they simply they uh, plot the graph and find the uh, the relation between the temperature and the pressure or volume anything like that so uh, okay so these are not important and try to understand okay so ideal gas law pv is equal to pv bar n uh, nrt or uh, p uh, v by n equal to v bar okay so that that is v bar okay um, so you should know this uh, because many problems are uh, from this simple formula okay so you should familiar with it. you should mark up this formula even if i ask it in night also you should know the formula okay so okay uh, and the units uh, pressure units of the pressure also important okay uh, they are uh, no, not always given. simply the five units okay so simply you can uh, remember these units okay pascal means one newton per meter square and the unit is kg per meter per second one bar is 10 power 5 pascal one atmosphere is 101.325 kilo pascal you should add one tar okay so they always not give the always give the uh, pressure they simply gives the atomic uh, atmosphere pressure okay you should always convert the pressure into pascals okay then only you can uh, simply cancel the units and get the correct answer okay so you should know how to convert all the units you should know the how to convert all the units to pascal okay so pascal is the same unit of pressure okay and the three laws the mains law boyle's law and charles law and alcatraz principle okay so already told that so boyle's law is pv is equal to constant at constant n and v charles law is v is equal to constant into n okay directly proportional to temperature our pressure is directly due to proportional to temperature uh, when avocadra principle is uh, volume is directly proportional to n when the constant pressure and temperature so simple if you uh, solve these three problem you get the ideal gas formula pv is equal to nrt okay so they take they first the boils rise take pv is equal to nrt constant at constant temperature r is constant n is constant means uh, these three are constant if you take v is equal to uh, t means p and n are constant r is a gas, gas constant okay so these are constant okay now from this also you can find the constant of r okay okay um you should know okay so the, the uh, some interviewers ask the question from this formula okay so what is they don't ask what is boyle's law or charles law they ask question like that um uh, you, you can only uh, boil your water in 100 degrees celsius or you can boil your water in 60 degrees celsius um uh, or like that uh, if you uh, we all know if you uh, decrease the volume okay so you know the formula okay pv is equal to uh, nrt okay pv is equal to uh, nrt okay if you uh, if you uh, decrease the pressure okay uh, 
the temperature may decrease okay right if you decrease the volume the temperature may decrease okay but if you increase the volume how the temperature will increase okay if you uh, imagine if you take a box and uh, increase the volume of the box how the temperature become uh, increase the temperature should fall okay so if you increase your box of your temperature uh, if you increase the volume of your box if you uh, take an imaginary box it contains a gas okay in uh, some pressure okay uh, if you increase the volume to uh, uh, double or triple the volume okay uh so you imagine so you you should imagine like that the pressure will decrease like that the temperature should decrease oh, but uh, from this relation the charles what is charles law says pressure volume is directly proportional to temperature means if you increase the volume the temperature should increase okay okay yeah, so this is the, some controversial questions so okay? if you ask questions like that you should answer like this those you should maintain the pressure constant if you maintain the pressure constant the if you increase the volume temperature also increase okay otherwise it in, does not increase if, if because if you increase the volume the pressure decrease if you increase the volume the pressure decrease okay uh, the pressure decrease means the temperature decrease okay uh, how much it uh, decrease okay so it depends okay so only when if you uh, uh, make the pressure constant then only if you increase the temp volume and the temperature increase otherwise it does not increase the temperature okay so this is simple formula but if you apply it to some problems it will become difficult more difficult okay so more difficult to answer these type questions okay okay so these are plots okay uh, pv plot okay uh, they asked questions in these type questions okay PV is equal to PV is equal to constant. Okay, means P is equal to uh, one by V into constant. Okay, so like that. So if you increase the volume, increase the volume, the pressure should decrease. Okay, if the volume is zero, volume is zero means one by zero is equal to infinity. Okay, the pressure is in the volume zero, the pressure is infinity. So uh, if you increase the volume, or uh, if, if you increase the volume the pressure uh, decrease okay they increase the volume because it is inversely proportional p is inversely proportional to volume okay inversely proportional to volume you cannot put the equal to okay inversely proportional they increase the volume the pressure decrease from so volume is zero means it can it, it is achieve unachievable okay uh, means the pressure is infinity infinity the pressure decrease from the infinity to the okay? Uh, when increasing temperature, the curve shifted to this, okay. Because this curve is for a constant temperature, example T1. This curve is for constant temperature T2. This is T3 and T4. Okay, they give uh, may ask this. Uh, so in uh, next year questions also they ask the, the probability to ask question like this. The temperature is higher than T1 and T3 and T4. Okay. So you should know that these are uh, very simple concepts. They, uh, I, 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 I saw all the uh, previous questions, and Gate, CSR, and uh, Bark, and uh, even I, I, Iser question, I, IAC questions. They asked from very simple concept. Okay. So uh, in even in uh, very tough uh, some tough exams also they asked a very simple concept. Um, because we we, uh, we 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 think we know the concept but we we easily make mistakes okay so you should better understand this concept then only you can don't make mistakes okay okay uh, so this is when you when you plot the, you should know the mathematics okay that's why i told before you started reading physical chemistry you should know some basic mathematics okay some graphs math algebra like that uh, if you plot one by v versus pressure, uh, this is the plot. Okay, uh, you know the y is equal to m x plus c. Okay, so c is zero. Yeah, here is c is zero, and the m is slope. Okay, the x is one by v. Okay, p directly proportional to one by v. Okay, um, or p is equal to one by v into constant. That constant is the uh, my slope the constant is the slope okay so the slopes are constant means the line is straight okay okay mm. 
this is the uh, surface of possible states okay so uh, the other than these states uh, other uh, pressure volume and temperature this is the surface of possible state uh, other other states are not possible okay you know isotherm means it's a constant temperature isotherm isobar is a constant pressure okay so this is the pressure okay so if you take a constant pressure this is the isobar and this is the isotherm and this is the isocore okay so this is the isocore okay? so you see simple okay um equation of states um ideal gas law okay so you know this formula so uh, you should familiar with this a uh, mixture of ideal gas comprising n moles of each okay so if you uh, contain only one more one gas uh, hydrogen only you should use the this formula if you contain hydrogen and nitrogen you should know use the, this formula partial pressure okay the partial pressure is the pressure of hydrogen if you uh, if you take a container uh, and it contains hydrogen and nitrogen okay h2 and n2 okay um what is the, the partial pressure of hydrogen one mole of hydrogen contains it contains one mole of nitrogen the partial pressure is what is the pa partial pressure of the gas okay and uh, you should know the what is the formula for mole fraction okay mole fraction is uh, number of moles of the that substance divided by total moles you here take uh, one mole of hydrogen and one mole of nitrogen a mole fraction of xi of hydrogen is hydrogen is uh, uh, 1 divided by 2 okay 1 by 2 okay now uh, the mole fraction of nitrogen is 1 by 2 uh, if you take the if you add all the mole fractions you get the 1 okay 1 that is the mole fraction uh, okay uh, the what is partial pressure the partial pressure is pi okay uh, if you add all the partial pressures, you got the total pressure. Partial pressure is same like if you, if you, if you take this, uh, if you hydrogen is in pressure B and the nitrogen is in pressure B. Okay, if you take the partial pressure of uh, 2P, if you take something like that, what is the partial pressure? Okay, uh, this is the partial pressure formula. Mole fraction into total pressure. Okay, uh, partial pressure of hydrogen here is. Uh, PIA of hydrogen is uh, H2 is partial pressure of hydrogen is mole fraction of hydrogen is half into total pressure. Okay, uh, total pressure means two or uh, two. Okay, total pressure two bar. Okay, take bar. Okay, so all uh, time take the SA unit. Uh, into two. Okay, so it is one. Okay. Okay. Under the compressivity, uh, compress, uh, compressibility factor, okay. Uh, uh, the real gas do not obey the ideal gas law. So I already told. What is the difference between the real gas and the ideal gas? Okay, so uh, you should include the. the uh, there are many laws to uh, uh, for uh, study the properties of the real gas. One of these is compressibility factor. By simply introducing a compressibility vector, because I, ideal gases are uh, cannot compressible. Okay, so it is like hard sphere. Okay, you cannot compress it. Okay, but the real gases are compressible. Okay, so you cannot compress it. You can uh, slightly. You cannot um, uh, highly compress it. You can slightly compress it. Slightly expand it. Okay, so that is the difference. Okay, the volume of ideal gas, uh, molar volume of ideal gas. Molar, molar volume of real gas divided by molar uh, ideal gas is the compressibility factor okay at high temperature repulsion dominate okay so when if you apply high temperature uh, the repulsion is high okay so the molecule move faster and the repulsion is high so uh, the volume of uh, repulsion is high okay so the real uh, volume is higher than the ideal value okay so means uh, the above factor is high means the Z is greater than one and the molar volume of real is high okay so when the attraction dominates attract the gases are uh, uh, attract each other um, the real volume is slightly less than the ideal okay so this that is less than one okay okay this is the examples of compression factors and if uh, hydrogen you see the examples okay so in uh, it is extrapolated to the zero okay uh, and uh, perfect okay so 
the this is the perfect gas okay and the hydrogen uh, methane ethane so this is the graph okay so some graph like goes like this some graph go like this okay, so the the compression factor um, um okay used to, to help to identify the real gas behavior from ideal gas okay uh, virial equation it is another form of uh, gas law used to, to uh used to characterize the ideal uh, the real behavior real gas behavior okay so you this is the 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 compressibility factor is a function of temperature so you take uh, and uh, different uh, these are correction factor okay uh b of t and c of t divided by v of v square okay generally you can uh, neglect the higher order terms it goes like this infinity okay so if you uh, want high uh, high accurate means you you can add uh, many terms uh, you don't need it you can easily neglect it okay as per when the pressure goes to zero uh, uh pressure zero means volume become infinity okay so ideal gas means these other terms are neglected Z becomes one and PV becomes PV bar it becomes RT. Okay, you get the ideal uh, law. Okay, okay, uh, the Van der Waals equation. So it is somewhat important. Okay, uh, same. Okay, so but uh, here um, uh, they included the attraction and the repulsion factors. Okay, first the attraction, uh, first the hard sphere molecules. Okay, begins uh, uh, how, first assume the molecules are hard spheres. Okay means they repel each other they cannot penetrate it into it okay so two are uh, separate hard spheres okay you cannot penetrate into one or into other okay um, means uh, the now the volume is somewhat less than the ideal volume okay so you should minus the total volume from b okay b is the somewhat attraction factor okay uh, uh, see means uh, repulsion factor repulsion factor okay so he th this is the uh, volume the molecules occupies the hard mo molecules occupies this is the mo volume mo the molecules occupies you should subtract this volume okay so the volume is available is uh, not the whole volume if you, if you take a box uh, if you put some balls okay into it the balls occupy some volume okay so the remaining volume only available to the gas okay uh, the volume occupied by the other molecules are not available okay so you cannot free move to into the molecule because it we assumed it is a hard sphere you cannot into it okay so uh, the volume is slightly dif uh, uh, differ though so that is the we subtract b okay then attraction okay so uh, the uh, if you uh, what is the pressure the pressure is the molecules and uh, uh, how the how much the collision uh, collision frequency and the uh, uh, how many molecules okay so how many molecules collide the wall okay so that is the pressure okay if you feel the pressure means many molecules are colliding if you high if you uh, or container containing high pressure means the molecule co colliding faster into the walls okay means uh, these are collision the both collision frequency and the number um, uh, the collision are, uh, uh, are are slow down by the attraction if you some molecules are attract each other like they, they have nucleus and electrons so the attract each other means the um the pressure is somewhat less so that is the attraction a means attraction so this is a attraction factor b is uh, repulsion factor okay this is the van der waals equation so they are trying to uh, uh reach the real gas behavior as close as possible okay so you cannot uh, the the virial equation is the most uh, uh, most probable okay so you can close uh, go as close as possible okay okay thank you thank you so much uh, we uh, we saw the problems evening